In this video, we're looking at how to retouch this image right from Lightroom through to Photoshop and back to Lightroom. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video here on my YouTube channel. Let's just get to what we have to talk about today. So, I imported these images into Lightroom. This is definitely what I got from the shoot I posted earlier on my YouTube channel. So, I have this whole session of what I did during the shoot up on my channel. So, kindly go watch and learn something new about shooting outdoor images with entry level gears so right about now i think i want to see what i want to show you guys what i did in lightroom so basically this is what happened here in the basic color tab sorry basic tab the tone curve into the reds the greens and the blues so after doing this, I, I realized there were too much reds in there, so I had to take away some reds in the shadow and add some, the opposite of red is cyan actually, so add some cyan into the highlight. I did all that, went into the greens, did something to the red tones, and in the blues, basically add some blues to the red tones too. Down in the HSL tab, this is definitely what I did here, nothing. And in the split tone, I try adding some yellows into the highlights and some purple or magenta ish color into the shadows. Detail, I try reduce my detail, my sharpness to 20 because um, basically, capture sorry, Lightroom gives you a sharpness of 45 or 40. Well, I want to work with 20. And in lens correction, you just enable your profile lens correction. This is, this is what it does yeah so you see the whole total change over there then effect i did nothing here in effect and in camera calibration that's what happened so let me show you the before this is the before right from camera i use the canon cgd if you've watched my video you know what i shot with but if you haven't kindly go watch i use the canon 60 shutter speed of one over 800 f 1.4 iso 100 with the 85mm 1.4 DG HSM at 016 just say Sigma at lens 1.4 that's all so right from Lightroom then we just go into Photoshop Photoshop let's just get the stats from the beginning so I imported whatever I did here in Lightroom together with the settings into Photoshop and I tried taking out some blemishes so if I zoom in you realize some blemishes are normal on the face yeah, so I, I always say 60 to 70 percent of your research and efforts to be good has to come from your blemish removal. Then from there, as you all know, I'm a freak of I'm I'm a fan, should I say freak fan or oh, I'm so into dodging and bending that even with portraits I still want to dodge and bend and not do frequency separation. But with portraits you're not looking at um um bay uh, you're not looking at retouching for it to look very very perfect. It's just a portrait, you don't have to do too much. So I just did something little over there. I know you guys would think it's too much, but mm -hmm, it's something small. So this is what happened in the skin matching. I had to take out some of the eye bags over there. I still left the eye bag there, but it's not visible as it was before, right? So if you're wondering how to dodge and then I have a video up on my YouTube channel. Can you go check it out? Take me back to basics. It has everything in there. So this is what happened in the dodge, bend, then this is the total changeover. And this is what happened in the global dodging and bend and just highlighting and contouring. So I didn't redefine my dodging and bending with frequency separation this time because I, I just wanted to be a simple edit, just simple edit and you'll be done with. I just whiten the eyes and the teeth, then added some photo filter. So in this photo filter is the underwater color. So just select photo filter underwater and you're good to go then some color balance so this is what happened in the highlight then mid tones and my shadows and if you realize my opacity has been lowered so with me whatever it is i do whatever color adjustments i add to my photo i just try and reduce the opacity no matter what there's some selective color adjustments i tried bringing back details in the blacks so if you realize it's just the blacks I went into, pushed in some blacks, added some blues, 
some greens and some reds so this is the before and after then gradients map i tried desaturating the image this is how i desaturate my images in photoshop using the gradient map black on the shadow and white here then i added some curves just to add some dramatic feel to it so if you can see this is the before and that's the after adding that drama to it and still my opacity was lower and the color lookup table which came from my lat that being said my lat is still up for sale and this video is sponsored by pixel junkies if you want to get your backdrops i'm looking all professional and all natural and organic kindly contact pixel junkies to link you up with a perfect and a good backdrop for your portraits and studios and don't forget to hit me up for your skin lats it's still up for sale though then from there i added some noise i don't know if you can see but I zoomed in this is without the noise and that's after the noise and the whole idea behind the noise is to make the picture look more organic more kind of old so it looks more natural yeah so basically this is what i did in photoshop and i saved this and it went back into lightroom then this is what we got here in lightroom so if you have any other adjustments you want to apply in lightroom then you just apply them then you right click go to export that's how i export my images for instagram so resolution of 250 but um the appropriate one should be resolution of 71 so that instagram doesn't reduce the resolution for you because it will compress it down but i leave it at 250 because it's not just instagram i post my pictures at i post them on twitter behance and many other social media pages i have yep then i just click on export and i have my image right to go so let's see export and there it is so thank you for joining in on my video if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you think this content was good enough for you and maybe learn something you concerning how i graded or how i told this image in lightroom to photoshop and back to lightroom and i'll see you in the next video peace